Over a year ago, I made a film about Brock and Holford opticians and their imminent move to new premises. A move that dispensing optician D told me had been planned for some time. What we really struggle with here is the parking. The road is, is increasingly more and more busy. And unfortunately, we also struggle with our protected steps here. Our elderly patients can't come up and down the steps easily. So unfortunately, that's why we have to make the decision to make a move. They're moving to Westway Farm, on the edge of Bishop Sutton, near Chew Valley Lake. It looks like a barn conversion, but it's not. It's a new building that is tailor-made to our specifications. We're all on the flat, and actually outside the front entrance, we also have disabled parking bays, and I believe we're also going to have electric charging points. So it is very new, very mod cons, and very, very exciting for us. Unfortunately, over a year later, and they are only now making the move. This shop you've been in, well, 27 years now? 28 this year, 20, so very nearly 30 years. Yeah. Yeah. And you've been planning this move for a little while. Three years. Because <laughs> originally I talked to you in April Indeed. last Indeed. year, yes. and it was all imminent. Yes. So why is it taking so long, Dee? <laughs> it's, a, it's a new build. It's also a little bit of a curse of COVID. Um, so if there was one delay, that then that had a knock-on effect for the other contractors that were coming in. Um, and then because it's um, on a conservation area as well, we've had to get sign off from them. So it's just taking a bit longer than what we'd had originally planned and hoped for. Um, but yeah, we are now able to move over and it's looking amazing. Well, I was gonna I'm say. Totally so, excited. Well, there must be mixed emotions here. I am because we've been here a long time and I love the village, I love the people, I love waving to people in the morning, um, you know, saying hi to the butcher every day and things like that. So that I'm really going to miss, um, but I need the space. I, it's a new building, it's new equipment, it's all the things that we really want to do to take Brock and Holford forward. So yeah, I'm really excited for that. And I think, as you told me last time, this particular site has just got so impractical. Oh, it is. We've got steps to get up the road into here. We've got steps into the building, steps into the testing room. Elderly patients can't cope with that. Yeah. Um, so in our new building, we're all on the level. <laughs> and we have disabled parking bays and... And have you got the charging points you were talking about? We do. About? We have hey. one electric charging point, so okay. we, can, we can activate that. But it's also the little things like, I no longer have an outside toilet. I now have an indoor toilet. Um, That's a big deal is, in winter. Do you know what? It is a big deal. Um, so yeah, things like that. And we have separate staff toilets to patient toilets. We've got disabled access toilets. Done. Well done. We now have a coat hook. <laughs> do you know what the plans are for this building? No, so obviously the rest of this needs to be ripped out. Um, the landlord will come and sort of refresh everything, but he is hoping to keep his business. So it'd be nice to still keep something in the old high stream. Yeah, yeah. yeah. At last, it's time for D to close the door in Chew Magna for the very last time. That's it. Goodbye, Chew Magna. Goodbye, Chew Magna. The staff are now settling in to their new state-of-the-art facilities at Westway Farm in Bishop Sutton. With over twice as much space, they can keep more stock and carry out even more treatments. Back in Chumagna, any equipment they can't use is being donated to an eye care charity. And the shop furniture is also being carefully removed and given to another charity to be reused. What will happen now 
to the little shop that David and Sheila Walker ran as a grocer's for over 50 years remains to be seen.